peace guys um, this is another video uh, about uh, 32 plugin for uh, 32 bit plugins that cannot be opened in 64 bit operating systems for for example Windows 10 64 bit uh, you might not be able to open a plugin that's 32 bit for example Wuzu Darbuka or say Nexus uh, or any other VST plugin software that uh, cannot be open in a 64 bit and it needs a 32 bit and 32 bit will not show up in the Ableton or the DAW's software so what you do is get JBridge there's a software called JBridge that's what it's called JBridge so when you get JBridge uh, what you do is open JBridge and it looks like this so you go I'll be using the 64 bit and then you remove all these ticks from there and you open like a create bridging uh, DLL so you find your VST plugin folder and then uh, open that uh, 32 bit plugin and put it in here and make sure you choose a different uh, folder to where it was and uh, it will add a 32 bit dot whatever and then it will save it in a different uh, uh, folder make sure you know where you saved it and then you open that and then put it into your VST folder for Ableton or whatever and then what you can do is uh, it allows you to uh, run the 32-bit uh, software in a 64-bit uh, operating system uh, but make sure if it if if you're having problem opening that plugin or causing it's causing a crash make sure this is what you do uh, make sure you uh, put your software properties and make sure you run as administrator so once you do that then it will fix all the problems for example um, you're using Ableton you open that advanced and you make make Ableton always run and run as administrator and then that plugin will always open without any problems. Uh, hope this helps. Peace.